Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Scrap Mechanic. My name is Lord Payne and today I'm showing you my pocket buggy. This is also a very small car. As you can see, uh, I really like pocket cars. But uh, it's also very detailed. It has this double intake system with two air filters, a big block engine. I use this engine for the buggy. It has an exhaust system on both sides. A double wishbone suspension in the front and um, I don't know how to call this one arm a single arm suspension on the back it also has some spare boots if you get dirty <laughs> and need some <laughs> new boots and uh, yeah I really like this car uh, this one is has a special suspension because it uh, uses the reversed suspensions I also showed this in uh, one of my videos um, I will show you uh, how this works but uh, um, let's take it for a ride for now So it's pretty fast, handles pretty good. I really like how it drives, even though it is uh, so small. It drives pretty good, and it's very stable. Let's see if we can do this jump here. Oh, not really. Okay, try again. So this su suspension acts a bit different than the uh, normal suspension and uh, I really like it. I also used um, some uh, modded wheels on the back because they are wider. They are also uh, twice as heavy as the front wheels so um, I didn't want them to be uh, heavier because when you make jumps when you jump the car will uh, 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 flip to the back because the, the wheels are too heavy so uh, I used uh, medium weight wheels I also uh, upload these wheels uh, to the workshop so I made uh, like these two wheels um, 3x1 and 3x2 they have um, a medium weight and um, this one are uh, light both, both of them so um, lighter wheels means also that they have uh, less grip so you will have to find a, a balance between grip and and um, and the right uh, weight for your car uh, yeah so I have like heavy heavy wheels in the front but s uh, smaller and three by two wheels on the back but medium weight so this is like this acts like pretty good so now I'm going to show you how the suspension works I'm gonna put it on the lift. So uh, let's show you the suspension first. Yes, yeah, so this is the suspension. How it looks when it's when it is on the lift, and when you remove the lift, it will go down to one block. Ah, not this one. Why not? Because it has nothing on it. Okay, let's put something on it. 
one block. Yeah. You see? When it's on the lift, it's like normal. And if you remove the lift, it goes down to one block. And it will expand as you drive. So this is how this suspension works. I don't use any controllers or something like that. It just, uh, when I remove the lift, it will go down to one block in the front and in the back. There is a suspension. It will go down to one block. So the wheels will go also down uh, one block. Like that. So as you drive, see how it works? It expands. Yeah. So I really like this car. Drives uh, even better than I thought it would. The engine is it's only set on on two, so uh, but you don't really need much more than that because it is uh, fast enough and it has a lot of a lot of power. Let's try to find a, s a hill right up here to climb up on. We can, we can go easily up here. I really like this engine. You can find this engine in my um, interactive parts mode on the Steam Workshop and these uh, air filters and this um, radiator in front. You can find them in uh, my non-interactive parts. Yeah, so that's pretty much it about this car. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And check my check my workshop for more cars. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. You can download it from the workshop and have fun with it. So I uh, see you next time on Scrap Mechanic. Bye bye.